There we go. Please open. Thank you. Wheel spin. Crazy waspy beast. And another wheel spin. The trunk opens like that. And another one. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop Now. My name is Max, and today we have a nice mini convertible John Cooper Works. You may remember I reviewed a regular one, uh, like a coupe mini version, a couple of months ago, and I wasn't too happy about that car. I wasn't too happy about the way it drives, the way it feels, the way it, it has just become an accessory, uh, not so much a fun car to drive it's a little bit too high too soft it's not aggressive enough i don't really like the setup of the suspension on that car so i fixed the problem because with this convertible that's not what you're looking for so today i'm going to see if i'm right and if i'm actually right in thinking that i fixed the problem um, i'm going to show you around it Take it for a drive towards the autobahn and do a quick autobahn blast over there but before we begin don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload a new video and follow us on instagram at autotopnl okay so today we're starting off the right way because this is rebel green uh i think every mini should be green i absolutely love it i just noticed that we've got a hitchhiker there crazy crazy waspy beast um, of course, because it's a works, you get a John Cooper Works badge, but also some red details around the car. Uh, I really love this part of the front bumper. I think this looks really nice and aggressive, like a big mouth. I think that, that looks really cool. Uh, of course, we've got the new LED headlights. I'm not going to do everything of the new Mini because you have probably seen my review already. Um, John Cooper Works brakes with these wheels that wrap around the brake caliper which looks pretty cool red mirror caps roof that opens and at the rear we've got the union jack rear lights and the john cooper works exhaust cool lights trunk opens like that okay but we can actually open the roof with the key fob please open thank you Oh, that's it again maybe yeah there it goes so that's pretty cool as well you can we're going to start in that mode i think because i really like that okay so that's it with the roof down uh it looks pretty funky with that antenna at the front i think that looks it looks like an rc car basically Okay, we'll take a look at the engine. So, that's it. Uh, it's the 2 liter 4 cylinder B48 from BMW basically. 231 horsepower, 320 newton meters. Uh, so it's not the new one, guys. I know there's a new one on the way with 306 horsepower. That's not this one. This one has the old engine, or old, older. Uh, John Cooper Works on the sails, John Cooper Works seats, and well, the rear seats, that's basically useless because there's just no space at all. Um, as I said, we are going to go for the medium convertible setting to start with. So, roof up. Yes, and now roof open. That's the one. I really like this one. I think that's super nice that you have those windows open and this part of the roof, but you still have some protection at the rear. I really like this. This is super funky and cool. And yeah, I think it, it fits this car really well. Okay, let's go and take it for a drive. 
So let's start it up. Rumbles into life, although the sound is not that loud because of the new OPF particle filter, because of WLTP regulations in Europe. Okay, we'll close the windows. I really like to drive with the windows down and this part of the roof up, but you know, we get a lot of wind noise that way. So we're just going to do it like this. Sport mode, sport mode. Okay, doesn't have a limited slip. As you can tell. Ah, this is a lot of wind noise. I hope my mic is okay with this. I hope you guys can hear me. Let's do a launch. So with that 231 horsepower, this car does six and a half seconds to 100. Traction control in sport mode. Gearbox in sport, foot on the brake, full throttle, launch control. There we go, wheel spin. And another wheel spin. And another one. Okay, I'm going to close this because it's super loud. That's better. So as I was saying in the beginning, I really didn't like the setup on the regular Mini John Cooper works. I thought it was a bit too soft to be really entertaining and a bit too hard to be like a like a cool touring car. It also sat way too high and it just it, it doesn't really make any sense. So I thought if you have a convertible you just have fun with the roof down. You know it's a fast little car and you can enjoy the fact that it's a fast little car on B roads. You don't have to worry about you know, thinking about, oh, this is too much understeer in this corner, or I don't like this, I don't like that, which was the problem with me driving it last time. This time around, I'm much more able to appreciate the car for what it is. Just a fun, funky little car that's quick. Sounds pretty nice. And, and just feels very well put together. I think that's a big pro as well. And speaking of pro, before WLTP, Mini offered the John Cooper Works Pro Exhaust, which was absolutely insane. It was so loud, loud bangs, uh, on the overrun, pops and crackles. It was just amazing. And well, they have canceled that because of EU regulations, which is, a real shame because that I think that was a really good fit for this car because it was almost comically loud for this little car but it just made it a lot of fun there are some pops as well in this one but you can't really hear them okay so at the Autobahn we're going to switch to automatic mode ah there are the pops sometimes they're there sometimes they're not Let's see, pushing it a little bit. Yeah, those Dunlops are struggling. I think I said this in my last review as well. I don't really understand why they went for these tires because they are not great. Okay, so performance wise, It's about as fast as this van, not anymore. Full throttle. Unleash the power. Well, it's not that much, but... I, I actually think... I actually, I actually think it runs pretty well. I mean, this is past 200 already. Um, you do get some wind noise, of course, from the roof. And because it's a convertible, they had to strengthen the underside of the chassis, which means that it's pretty harsh, pretty firm, with bumps and stuff. But performance-wise, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed, because this is 238, 239, 240. So this is the top speed, basically. I think that's it, 43, not bad at all. 
So of course we also did our performance test with our Draghi GPS performance box. If you want to check out that video, click in the top right corner. Uh, it's actually not bad, I would say. It's it's what you would expect from this amount of power. The only problem is that this car is 105 kilos heavier than the regular one. So you know that's you're going to feel that. That's why I said that's not what this car is about. It's not about that that real extraordinary driving experience. It's just too heavy for that. So if you don't really care about the weight and you don't really want a convertible, you can also go for the new Clubman because that new John Cooper Works has the new engine, 306 horsepower, which is basically a new BMW M1 35i in disguise. So I would always recommend someone who's interested in the Mini to go look at the Clubman because right now the Clubman and the Countryman are the only ones with the new engine. So which one would you prefer guys? Let me know in the poll in the top right corner. Would you go for the regular one, the convertible, the Clubman or the Countryman? Let me know. And of course the new Mini John Cooper Works GP is going to get that engine as well. So that's maybe also worth waiting for because that's going to be cool. So for now guys, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to head towards the Netherlands again, get the roof down and enjoy this little car on some nice B roads. I hope you liked it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right here. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye.